What is up guys, David here from Overland Nomad. I'm pretty sure if you guys are on the interwebs, you have seen truck campers, uh, specifically like the Go Fast camper that's becoming really popular right now. You see a lot of people getting those. And they're pretty new. I think they came out maybe in 2018, 2019. And they're really cool. Uh, one thing though that I have a problem with, and I mean, I don't have a problem with, I just, it's, it's a problem for me, is that I can't afford them. They're like $7,000. And then on top of that, you gotta get in, a get in line to wait for them. So for a person like me, the wilderness is a perfect solution. So the wilderness, I've had it for a few years and uh, it's just my favorite camper that I've had. As practical as a camper shell, that you can get off of Craigslist for 100, 200 bucks. Uh, but it also opens up and becomes this whole livable area, just like, kind of like a van would, you know? You get one of those, you know, people that are into the van life, they got they get these uh, high roof fans and they got their kitchen and all. Well, this kind of is the same thing in a way. It doesn't look as pretty, but you have all this livable area in the bed and you have a bed that comes out on the side. So like I said, uh, while I'm opening up the wilderness here in the background, um, like I said, the wilderness is a great camper if you're looking for something like the Go Fast camper or a flip pack, um, but you don't, you can't afford that. You can find these wilderness campers uh, on Craigslist, Facebook market, Marketplace, different um, f like overland forums like Expedition Portal. And if you really look around, you know, if you're good at checking like every week or every day, you can and stumble upon one of these and get one. Um, they can go as cheap. I've seen some go for 500 bucks. Some will go 1500 bucks, depending on the condition, right? One thing to look at when you get one of these campers is the obviously the condition of it, right? Uh, but the fabric, uh, if the fabric is really bad shape and you have to get a whole canvas redone, it can get really expensive. It can go from I've heard $600, uh, $600 to $1,000, depending on the shop that's doing it. Uh, it can get really expensive. By the way, uh, I'm already going to throw it out there. It's not a Westphalia uh, product, whatever you want to call it. I put that decal on there. Uh, it has nothing to do with that company. I just added it on there to make it seem like it was, but a lot of people will start calling it a Westphalia. It's not. I apologize to, to have fooled you. So other campers that are really similar to the wilderness will be the flip pack, which was made a little later on. Uh, I believe they started making them late nineties, early two thousands. I'm not really too sure on that, but, uh, the flip pack folds, uh, it flips towards the cab, uh, which is really nice, but the wilderness opens to the side. The reason why I like that better is because it provides its own awning. So once it opens to the side, you can sit under it and you have awning, which I, that's what I do. That's it. All right, guys, so obviously I'm not camping. I'm just doing a little demonstration for video purposes. Uh, I'm out here in some dirt roads and I wanna show you guys the camper. So the thing about the camper right now is I just got it back from Jake. So it used to be mine, I had it for a few years and then I sold it to my good friend and then I bought it back from him. <laughs> so, and the pickup's been in the shop for a bit. So I'm barely getting all this back. So I wanna do a video um so the camper still needs some work i need some put some new struts on this thing it's obviously a little a little messed up uh but here's the inside uh as you can tell it's pretty spacious i am planning on doing some sort of uh you know cabinetry or some storage area something very simple and not too heavy all right guys well here is the interior of the wilderness as you can tell it's uh it's a little old this is uh, from probably from 1986. 1986, probably when this camper was made. Uh, that's what I'm guessing. It's definitely from the 80s. Um, the fabric, the tent though, is new. The previous owner got it redone, but the quality is just pretty garbage. Um, they weren't even able to do it all around correctly. So you see there's gaps right there. So <laughs> if it rains, good luck. But if you find yourself a regular wilderness with the stock, fabric well then you're in luck if it's in good shape well then good for you you should be fine if not there is uh shops that can do these type of work uh that could redo the the canvas for you it's gonna be expensive from what i hear so as you can tell it's pretty roomy you get all this right here all this space uh this is a six foot bed on a 1994 toyota pickup and you can tell i have a lot of space i know the gopro kind of uh, distorts a bit of the image but you can tell it's, it's spacious and then you got all the bed right here. 
I mean, two people easily fit right here, two adults. I've slept with my wife on this bed and definitely a lot of room. Headroom wise, let's turn the camera. I am six feet tall and barely reach the ceiling. It's super tall in here. It's very spacious. Um, definitely not a problem with height. So in the past, I've had here two people sleep and two people sleep up here. So it's really spacious. I mean, you know, taking consideration, you're going to have all your camping gear and stuff. That's really very minimal. I mean, I do pack kind of lightly, but I usually have a little bit more stuff than that. But just think, just think that's your gear. Put it out there and I have all this room uh, to... Uh, to walk into like a livable room uh when i go to the beach it's really nice to have all this area I, I get to sit right here when i'm at the beach i get to sit right here i get up and i see the beautiful sunrise and all the waves it's so nice this view is very nice that's supposed to be a window but the lady that made this canvas didn't put a zipper i don't understand how that happens the previous owner doesn't know what happened there but the window doesn't open even though it has a zipper let's talk about the weight of this camper i don't know exactly the weight of it but i will tell you that it takes four people to remove it it's pretty heavy in consideration the canvas is heavy this is made out of fiberglass it's old and uh it's pretty heavy it looks a lot lighter than what it looks like from the outside but it's not it's pretty heavy but I used to have a four-wheel camper on the back if you guys follow me on Instagram or here on YouTube. And um, that was way heavier. Once I did the solid axle swap, it was just a no-go uh, for the four-wheel camper. So I'm glad I went back to the wilderness. I was able to buy it back. Never going to sell it again. This is a setup that I'm definitely keeping on the pickup. It's just the perfect setup for it, in my opinion. Especially at someone that likes to go camping, you know, and uh, and on adventures, it's just perfect. I mean, I gotta have a place to sleep, and this is my favorite setup. And I've slept in here many, many, many nights, <laughs> and uh, I think it's probably my favorite camper of all time. I like my four-wheel camper that I have, uh, but it's a little excessive. I mean, it's got a lot of cool things in it, but this is just simple. I'm gonna put a link in the description of the PDF that switches the brochure, or the original brochure and the manual someone uploaded it on the internet and uh i'll put the website uh, well actually the link is from that website so whoever you are thank you for uploading that it's really useful and the thing about these campers because they were made back in the 80s uh and they were only only made a certain amount i think that company went like defunct in the 90s is that they're becoming harder harder to find especially right now that the whole overland thing is becoming you know huge trend um People are buying these up left and right. They're starting to realize what they are and they think they're pretty cool and they are really cool. I mean, honestly, it does the job really well. So if you see one for a good price, I would take it. Uh, if you see one for 500 bucks, I would take it right away. Only thing you gotta know is that there's two different variants. I believe it's two variants. Actually in the brochure, it'll tell you the variants of the camper. I know there's an eight foot one, eight foot version. I've seen those more and they have a six foot ver version, which is what I have. And those are the ones that are people will, will take right away because, well, people want to put them on Tacomas or pickups like mine. So to conclude this video, um, I will say that in my opinion, I think it's the best camper for the price. For someone like me that's just like a weekend warrior type of guy that doesn't need something fancy, uh, I think it's a perfect solution. Uh, you can find them, you know, under $1,000 average for a fairly uh, fa fair shape uh, wilderness and you get uh, a lot out of it uh, a lot of people will ask you or will, will definitely it turn it turns heads when you're camping or even on the road people are like they know some people will know what it is um but it's definitely a perfect camper for what i do is i take it to the beach you know i you know i take my my son my dog i pop it open and you have this whole area that you can basically have people inside and then you know a livable area and then you have the bed on top like in the past i've had uh i think four people in total sleep inside um so if it starts raining or there's bad weather you can always go in there and just you know sit in there i don't know play board games whatever um so i think it's the best solution for the weekend warrior kind of people like me or if you're more serious i think it's perfect if you're a, if a very serious you know off-roader and stuff uh this camper was made for off-roading um 
it's pretty tough i've i've gone off-roading in my pickup in the past with the camper i haven't seen any problems with it it's pretty rugged um like i said it's 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 as basic as a regular camper shell that you would find uh, anywhere but it's got the the ability to open up and, and be this giant room which i think is pretty cool anyways guys thank you for watching we'll see you on the next one